Hello guys, welcome back again. In this video we will look at mobile development with C++. We will create an Android native application using C++. So before we get started, we will look at some certain few things to get started. We have to, we'll be using a Visual Studio 2019 and also you have to open a Visual Studio installer, which I've got right now, and you got to make sure that um, a mobile application development with C++ is, is enabled. I mean, in this case, this is what we're looking at, but um, my apologies that it's in Italian, but obviously you, you, get, you get this symbol here, right? And then the C++, so this is basically downloading all the toolkits for mobile development using C++. So before we get started, when you install the mobile development with C++, the one I've just showed you on the Visual Studio installer, uh, Visual Studio can be used to create fully functional Android native activity application. The Android native development kit, NDK, is a tool set that allows you to implement the majority of your Android app using pure C or C++ code. Some Java JNI code acts as a glue to allow your C++ code to interact with Android. The Android NDK introduced the ability to create native activity apps with Android API level 9 upwards. Native activity code is popular for creating gaming and graphic intensive applications that use Unreal Engine or OpenGL. So as I've actually spoken earlier about the requirements, before you can create an Android native application, you must make sure you meet all the system requirements. And install Visual Studio 2019 purposely for this tutorial. And mobile development with C++ workload in a Visual Studio. So for more information, you can, you can, you can up in the Visual Studio installer and you get started from there. But as you can see, I've already got Visual Studio opened and I've got the, 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 the start now page. So we, we go ahead by first clicking on the create a new project. So now we've actually we're here at create a new project dialog first we have to select the language which is c plus plus we have to select the platform which is android and then here it doesn't really matter we can we can select mobile or we can just leave it at all projects as there, there are very few projects that we can look, look at so here you can create a native activity application that's an android you can create a basic application that's all the templates right to get you started so you can create a basic android library so there are, there are more things that obviously you can do with this bit here but we're not going to look into too much details about so you can you can create a, a blank salute a, a blank project to get yourself started but what we're going to do this this, um, this tutorial is creating a native activity application so this is what we're going to do so we, we click on the nest so here we've got a configure project dialog here so here we can configure the name and the solution to which we want to put our project so we're just going to leave everything as they are and then we go to create so now we've got um, the project created we have a look at what um, what we've got inside the project right so we've got a pre-compiled header inside the pch and we've got um, um the references and the glue code for our app to run as a native activity on android yeah the implementation of the entry point from the glue code are in the main dot cpp which we're going to open have a look at it and um, the, app, the application project is compiled into a shared library dot so file which is picked up by the packaging project which we actually have here so basically this is our packaging project I'm just gonna collapse it so that we can have a look at it properly 
what does the packaging project uh, it actually creates the APK file for deployment on an Android device or emulator um, this contains the resources and an Android manifesto XML file where you set manifest properties it also contains the build XML file that controls the ant build process. It's set as a startup project by default so that so that it can be deployed and run directly from the Visual Studio. So we have a look quickly look inside what is what is inside um, the, the, the main of CPP. So we just go to the this bit here, scroll down. So when you scroll down to, I mean, if you're using a template, right? So on the line 221, you have the Android main. Yeah, this is the entry point where you you, you configure all the all the necessary codes just to get the whole thing started. Yeah. So there's one more thing to build and run the the default native app, or which we've got here. The first thing you got to do is you have to change the architecture to to 86 per 86 right yeah so this is this is what we're going to be using right and then if the if the solution platform list isn't showing choose solution platform from the add remove button list and then choose your platform so on the menu bar choose build and then build solution so the output window displays the output of the build process for the two projects in the solution. Choose one of the Android simulator profile as your deployment target. So in this case, yeah, on this part, we have to choose one, one Android uh, emulators for our deployment or for testing targets then we can hit the F5 just to start running it. So Visual Studio starts the emulator which takes a few seconds to load. Yeah so in this case yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna F5 to see what actually comes out of it. In some is in, in the case I will actually pause it because I've got a very slow computer so sometimes they just get a little bit silly somewhat silly. So we're just gonna wait to see what what actually happens. So I'm just gonna pause it and we wait for the emulator to fire. So as you can see, we've got the whole thing and the packaging project. We just packaged the whole thing, this thing, in this part here, this 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 activity um, application into an APK, then run on Android. So we're just gonna pause it. So as you can see, I've got the emulator started. It will actually take some time before the whole thing start working. But the emulator is a separate process that continues to run. You can edit, compile, and deploy your code multiple times to the same emulator. So as you can see, I have got a pre-compiled header open. So as you can see, you have all the pre-compiled headers inside it here so you yeah, gotta also bear that one in mind so I'm still waiting for the whole thing to start working like it's, it's taking a bit of time so we're just gonna have a look at the Android packaging file so as you can see it contains the resources here and then the man manifest files and then build in SML so here it doesn't really contain a lot than the build stuff so okay the app is actually taking way too long to, to start so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the video from here but obviously if you follow the, the whole step to this point yeah then you should you should wait and get your your app running up and running but I'm actually Going to make a separate video on how to run and debug a C++ Android application. In this case, we all be set for that. So, 
I'll leave it here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you, you do for more upcoming videos. Have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.